Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. Well, thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible, study the Word of God, and we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 today. 1 Corinthians chapter 5. And I'm looking at verses 5 through 8. 5 through 8. If you have the time to open up your Bibles and look over there with me. The reads here says, I have decided to deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough? Clean out the old leaven, so that you may be a new lump. Just as you are in fact unleavened, for Christ our Passover also has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast not with old leaven, nor with a leaven of malice and wickedness, but with unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. And so here as we get taught, and he uses the analogy of leaven and unleavened, and I think he might be kind of, you know, at the end of it, getting into, he talks about the unleavened bread, kind of leading into, you know, the, the communion, uh, and of course reminding them of, uh, the feast and leaven bread that, that was taking place, of course, when the Lord instituted the, the Lord's Supper, the communion. Um, but here he's getting into a spiritual point of who it is we keep company with. You go back to the beginning of this chapter, and he brings out that they are allowing a sexually immoral action take place that isn't even named among those who they consider to be the worst people in the world. You know, the, the sinners, the Gentiles, how dare they? He says, they don't even do this. They, they wouldn't tolerate this. And yet you guys are just turning the blind eye and acting like nothing is going on. This man has taken his, his father's wife. And you guys are ignoring the situation. And so here he tells them what needs to be done. He tells them, I have decided to deliver this man over to Satan. You guys are not to keep company with him. You guys are not to, to associate with such a person. It, it, it's, it's sad that, that you would think that it's okay to associate with such a person. To allow them to continue to be a member of the Lord's church. And so he says, I deliver more to Satan. He says, your boasting is not good. Um... But you have to look at the reason that he does this. Again, we don't fully lose hope in those who have fallen away. And when we withdraw from them, when we separate ourselves from them, there's a reason for it. He says, yes, that I, I, I give his flesh over, but it's in hope that in the day of the Lord, his spirit may be saved that the person in the end may come to. That as we separate from him, from the flesh, and allow him to, to do his fleshly desires, but we say we're not going to tolerate it, we're not going to be participating with that, it's not okay, you will not be a member here, we are not going to associate you with you because of this, that maybe he will return before the day of the Lord. And so he gives us the example of leaven and unleaven. Why would we want to be part of leaven of malice and wickedness? Why would we want that? Why would you participate? It's not going to be accepted in the kingdom of God. And so therefore we have to purge that out, make a new leaven, a new lump of dough, and become pure, become clean, become unleavened. Because Christ has died for us. So that those sins can be forgiven. So that we can be whole. So that we can be pure. And therefore we can't allow us to be corrupted by being associated, by, being, by, by giving our okay, basically, to those who continue to practice sin. To those who are brethren who, who fall back into sin. Again, our hopes is that they will turn back and stay in the kingdom of God and keep on being our brethren in Christ. But that is their choice. And so we need to make sure we follow the example here 
that we are willing to do the hard thing sometimes in practicing church discipline in hopes, one, to save that person, but also not to allow the entire congregation, the Lord's church, to become leaven and because we've allowed that wickedness to be inside the kingdom and allowing that to spread through the whole lump. And so therefore we want to keep it pure, keep it clean, keep it unleavened. So I want to thank you for joining me. Hope you have a blessed day. And if the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you later.